All right, guys, how's it going? So the very latest claims uh, from the Netherlands are that uh, Liverpool have not approached Feyenoord uh, to uh, to discuss potentially recruiting their manager, Arne Slot. Um, those claims were, were up until late last night. That may have changed today. Um, what we do know is that there is no release clause in his contract. Um, so Feyenoord would want compensation. I have seen suggestions that this would be around eight or nine million pounds. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, the general vibe from the reporting over there seems to be that Feyenoord do not want um, a circus around all of this, a media circus. When Slot was linked with Tottenham uh, a year ago, I believe it was, um, every uh, at every single press conference um, during that period, journalists uh, from the UK, in particular, were, you know, what's you know asking question, what's going on with Tottenham, what's going on with Tottenham, what's going on with Tottenham, and it was seen as a huge distraction. Obviously, it's common sense, right? Uh, but his club were very, very, very unhappy about it, uh, and that would explain why this press conference uh, was it to be held today. I can't remember when. Uh, has already been cancelled. Um, so that's already affecting that club. So the general um, vibe in the Netherlands, in the media at the moment, is that if Liverpool are going to do anything about this, then they need to act fast. Um, not fuck around, not create a circus, because that will get, um, you know, fine odds back up, could complicate things, etc., etc., etc. We've seen what the circus has been like around uh, Ruben Amarim over the last few weeks. And uh, he's due to speak, I think, in a few days' time. And apparently he's going to explain why he went to England. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what he's got to say. Um, so anyway, the very latest, if you like, uh, right now at the time of recording, is that up until last night, late last night, Liverpool hadn't approached Feyenoord. Um, that doesn't mean that things... And you know communication with um, slot and his representatives or whatever uh, haven't taken place. It doesn't mean that at all. Obviously, these things do happen, but his club haven't been approached. They're saying no, no one from Liverpool's uh, been in touch with us. Um, so yeah, uh, no contact officially as yet. Rumored eight to nine million pound compensation uh, and a kind of warning that. If Liverpool want to do anything, then don't drag it out. Uh, otherwise, it could get complicated. So I'll keep you posted on that, guys. I do appreciate your comments. Um, I am not uh, a supporter that's like, you know, we're going to be mid-table now and all this just because this guy doesn't, you know, maybe look cool as fuck or, uh, you know, uh, he's not a big name. I mean, we never discussed him from the off, have we, since January? Um, that is for sure. Um, only recently did his name come into things, but I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, we're going to bomb. I have to admit, I'm like a little bit disappointed uh, because I, I believe, I don't believe, sorry, I don't believe he has ever been our preferred option from preferred target from the start. I think Liverpool have looked at that, looked at that, and have fallen down the line. Uh, so then, of course, it's fair to be a little bit underwhelmed. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but that doesn't mean that he he couldn't be appointed to do amazing. You know, he could become a cult hero. You know, we could have had Alonso or Amarim at Liverpool. They could have bombed terribly. But something else uh, that I've noticed is that, you know, a few people associated to the club are saying, this is not nailed on. You know, yes, uh, he's the one being looked at at the moment. But the vibe is still... Well, we are looking at others as well. And I, but I, that could be just part of the negotiating uh, tactic as well around that uh, particular... Um, I, well, I'm, I'm going to call him a managerial candidate, even though there's talk of him being a head coach rather than a manager. Um, and I find it very strange that since he's been linked with Liverpool, apparently, uh, you know, Bayern Munich and... Barcelona, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know, are, are all exceptionally keen on him as well. 
Um, there was, I didn't see any mention of that previously when I've been following those, uh, those teams, uh, those clubs to see if, uh, you know, we've had to keep an eye on them because Liverpool, uh, previous candidates linked with Liverpool have been linked with those, but I never read any articles about that. Uh, Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah! Fabrizio Romano put a post out today saying, you know, there's some journalists saying that all these other clubs are interested in, but as far as I'm aware, only Liverpool are sniffing around him. I believe Fabrizio with that as well. I think it's uh, that's a bit of Liverpool propaganda, in my opinion. I don't think it's the uh, the the agent of um, Slot. I can't remember his name. Uh, you know, trying to get a bet, better deal or better terms or anything. I think it'll bite our hands off, to be honest. Um, I, I think it's more Liverpool propaganda coming from, you know, the likes of Edwards and that, you know, trying to big him up as a candidate. Uh, you know, the clicky journalists, you know, just, you know, making things uh, sound... Um, you know, we often we often hear this. You know, sometimes when we're linked with a, an underwhelming target, transfer target, where many people go... Oh, really? And then it's like when we sign them or something and then, um, you know, like Endo, for example, who, who actually, you know, I said in the summer when we signed him, you know, I said, hey, you know, I think he might end up being a cult. I did say cult, C-U-L-T, a uh, cult player. But sometimes when you sign a player that's not like, a, you know, an A-lister or something, you get all that. Yeah, and, and you turn down Real Madrid as well to come to us. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, right, of course it is, yeah. Uh, so anyway... I understand why people might be a little bit like meh, because I'm a bit like that. But at the same time, uh, you know, I have read articles today uh, about him and I can see why Edwards would think that he could possibly do it if he can step up. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, these other managers that are a lot more highly rated and might have a better air, do you know? Well, they've got air. That seems to be a big factor. Everyone goes, oh, he's fucking bald. What does that matter? What does that matter if he's bald or not? That's hilarious. Um, but, you know, they, they, the ones with, you know, a decent lock of air could still bomb, guys. You know what I'm saying? Knock it off with the ball comments, man. That's really funny. Now, do you know what? I looked at him and I thought, he sounds all right, man. You know what I mean? Hashtag no homo. What I mean is, if he's the man and he's our manager, then fuck yeah, game on. Let's do it. But the thing is, I've read a couple of articles bigging him up, you know, uh, from the usual suspects. And, and, and just sometimes you can... Make someone sound amazing, do you know what I mean? When maybe the dot, uh, it, you know, I'm not having it that that's a great league out there. I'm just not. And maybe the Portuguese league isn't a great league either, but it's certainly better than that. Um, but this isn't, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, look, it wouldn't have been my first choice, you know what I'm saying? But it's just sim I see similarities between when they appointed Brendan Rodgers, do you know what I mean? How Brendan Rodgers, we were convinced and told he was going to do it, and he did a job, and but. He was never really a Jurgen Klopp, do you know what I mean? So you can understand why people are going from, you know, a bit of disappointment. You can understand why people are having a bit of disappointment here because they're going from Jurgen Klopp to a guy they've never heard of before. Be honest, most people have never heard of him, right? But it doesn't mean that he's not going to be good. So I'm keeping the faith with it. I'm keeping positive, you know what I mean? Uh, and we'll just see what pans out. I think I'm trying to convince myself a little bit, but I'm also trying to remain respectful and uh, if it happens and it happens we I, I know for a fact that everyone will be on board with it if it happens um but i i, I still think there's you know a few things to that could happen yet yeah. twists and turns and everything uh, at least it's giving us something else to fucking talk about pedro the parrot's gone quiet hasn't he uh let's see if he if he surfaces today you know don't forget ruben amarim's agent was buying this property in Liverpool, has he signed for it yet? Because if he hasn't, he might not want to. <laughs> he might not want to. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like Liverpool are putting out propaganda to tell us how good he is and that other clubs want him and that. But they're still putting out that, but we're looking at other people as well. So... There's part of me still thinks this is part of the game you know, to for Ruben Amorim to budge on things. But I kind of get the impression that Ruben Amorim maybe not, may, might not do that. Uh, because to us, £10 million a year salary, net was it, £10 million. And the signing on fee. And there would be something for the agent. And 
up to 20 million euros in uh, to trigger his contract release clause if the president doesn't agree to let him go for you know 10 million or something i don't know i think there's i still think there's a lot of games being played here well, i absolutely do however believe that this chap is a candidate i do um and it's looking like you know if you it, it's looking like everything is pointing towards him and often that is a you know what you should look for i think is that when the credible journalists write these massive in-depth articles about how they play, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to put all that effort in it unless there's something in it. So he's definitely a candidate, but there's no approach from Liverpool as yet to his club. As up to last night, that could have changed today, admittedly. I hope I've made sense in some of this uh, in the video. Um, but yeah, I, I think if he gets the job, I think people will, you know soon forget the other links uh, and we'll be like right okay bring it on you know bring it on let's see what you can do and of course you know we would all want that right we can understand why people are a little bit i think so anyway all right guys if you appreciate the video please thumbs up the video um please drop me a comment if you want to buy me a coffee or a beer hit the super thanks button uh, in the video description there is my links to my social media uh, a newsletter that i will be sending out more of now, it's not when I say newsletter, it's not fancy. It's just me having a coffee in, in a cafe, typing, you know, things up. Um, you can you can join that. It's free to join that. We've got a chat room. Come and join us in the chat room. Uh, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in there from the, the comments on here, for example. So, yeah, have a good day, guys. Um, it's 10 minutes to 12 here. So uh, I think it's a time where I can justify having a bite to eat. All right. See you in a bit.